Right, today for you I've got an app review. This is about Sajic navigation. Uh, but before we do that, I'm going to talk about Google navigation. So let's take a look. So there are aspects of Google navigation that are really good. So for example, if I pull up Google now, you can see it's Tuesday morning, it's time to head off to work. It just knows that weekdays I head to work at this time. Now, for some people that may be a problem because this also links to your Google Plus circles. It links to everything within Google. So some people would know during certain times of the day that you'd be at work. So the big brother aspect is a bit of a downfall for some of us. Also, if you haven't got internet access throughout your entire trip, then that's not going to work as well. So now some aspects of it look pretty cool. We can zoom in and get really tight street views and get all the different names and letters of streets. We can pull right out and have a look at the map and have a look at the area. Whereas some navigation tools don't have this aspect to them. And we can also pull up settings and we can have a look at a satellite view so for example if you know the general area you're going in but not sure the street number but know what the house looks like we can pull up the satellite but what I really want to talk about today is Sajic and why I use Sajic as an alternative to Google navigation right so this is some footage I took um, while I home from work yesterday so I um, dropped a pin, like you do on Google Maps, but you do it in Sajic, and click the little information button, and then click Navigate too. So it's really easy. You can also just bottom left corner click on the search button. Please follow the route for nine kilometers. Okay, so we can also see that it has turn by turn navigation. Okay, so if I pull up the menu options from here, we can see we have some options to identify a police trap, reported incident, or head to our home. Um, top right corner we have the speed limit, and if a little asterisk comes up, that means I have gone over that speed limit. Some options in the bottom we have our GPS signal, the amount of kilometers per hour I'm going and a little under 8 kilometers to my next turn off and 15 kilometers to my destination. Now one very useful aspect of Sajic is on the bottom right hand corner you're going to see a sort of zoomed in aspect pop up and this is probably particularly useful in a city environment where you've got lots of turn offs and lots of exits off a ramp. So there you go right there that shows a little off ramp to the right Although that's just a normal road, I'm not sure why Sajic thinks it's an off-ramp. Now another aspect that is very useful is the 3D feel. As you can see on the left hand side and above we have mountains and this is accurate. At the moment I am kind of part way up the hillside, I guess you'd say. And on Sajic it definitely shows that I am. Unfortunately I can't go through the gorge today, I'm going home, so we're just going to turn off. Right, so what I'm going to do now is zoom out and scroll down to my street address. Zoom in a little bit and click on where I think my house is. And then if I click the blue information button and then drive to. It's as simple as that. And we could also set the bottom, it showed us the direction we were heading. It had north, east and west and it had I'm heading north north west um, and up here on the left we can see there's a 900 meters until a 50k zone appears so that's quite a helpful information as well so we know that the speed limit has decreased to 50k zone ahead After 200 meters, turn left. I'm just going to go straight ahead up here and see how fast it reacts So 
seems to think... Okay, not too bad. It did um, change. And that also says that I'm now in a 50k zone. Um, up ahead, we used to have a stationary speed camera. It was actually um, to check to see your speed limit, and it shows you your speed limit. But there actually was a hidden camera in there as well that not many people know about. Um, I did post it on here and say that there's a speed trap, and here we go. So it has alerted me to a speed trap. Although it normally shows a different symbol than that. Now if you're going to plan your trip and plan your routes, you can zoom right out until the full size of the country and then zoom in and post your identification waypoints. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. Um, I'm going to add a link in the description to the download of a trial version that I have for you. So if you like the trial, then you can then go onto the Google Play Store and download it for yourself. So let me know what you think of the trial, guys. Catch you next time.